coffee balls. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Coach Keith. I come out with videos in regards to gaming, investing, coaching, and Jacob and I are going to be releasing something else here soon. But we're today wanting to do a food review of I, I don't even know what these are called because you're hiding behind my head. Do you know what they are? Coffee balls. <laughs> Let's um, dive in. Let's dive in. Hmm. This is this is what they look like right there. I don't know if you guys can get a blurry coast close up on that, or maybe we. I don't know. Anyways, they look like that. I forgot to go out in town. Most of what they're they regards to is that it's coconut, um, brown sugar, white syrup, coconut oil, coffee. The whole shebang. Supposed to have dark chocolate in here too. There, I guess there is. I don't know if you guys see that, but a little bit of chocolate coming through. The you know, coffee flavor is really, really strong, along with your coconut. It's like a coconut coffee that's really, really chewy. <laughs> it's almost like a like a macaroon, maybe. Yeah. Uh, my teeth are stuck. <laughs> your teeth are stuck. That, well, that's what I'm saying. Is that your teeth actually get stuck? Yeah. Mhm. Mm that hurts again. I know. I don't know if you have caps, actually good, or silver teeth in Jacob's case, so this is a good thing. However, they're gluten-free, certified organic, vegan, non-GMO. Oh, that's, the second part is, um, in Espanol. I almost says, Dad? sans gluten, certifico, Dad, behilico. You know, Dad, Dad, Dad. Yeah, behilico, hey, my bad. You know, people can, can see us from, from all over the universe on this camera. They can see us all over the universe on this camera. Yeah. And they're watching us. And they're watching us eat food. Uh -huh. Because they want to know our opinion on what we think of these. So should we let them know our opinion? Uh -huh. What's your opinion on them? Uh, it's, it's, it's strong. I am harder than gum. Mmm. I can might be stick your teeth. He's in right, and I can. Might be pull your teeth off a little bit. Mmm. So Ow, like it's good if you have a loose. A bit. Wait, what about if you have a loose tooth? Is it good to eat if you have a loose tooth? Wow. Us. Mm. Uh, loose, loose tooth hurts when you move it around your with your tongue. That hurts a lot. My personal opinion, I don't like these. I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you picked them. I, I assume. I. I don't like the the chewiness of them. It's worse than a chewy bar, if you know what I mean. Coffee is way too much for me. I don't. I, I was hoping that there would be a little bit more chocolate in there and, and less coffee, and that they would kind of complement each other more, like a, a mocha latte or a mocha frappuccino or an americano mocha. I, I don't even know. Do you think that's a drink? Uh. So. I was hoping for but then, something like that but where it was. Dad, this is like. Daddy. Yes. What about more coconut? <laughs> Just a little bit more coconut, huh? Yeah, I was hoping for like a coconut latte or coconut frappuccino, right? Mocha frappuccino. However, this is like a coconut espresso with a chocolate drizzle. Does that explain it pretty well? Yeah. Is there anything else, kind of critiques, if you had to rate this? Uh, one out of ten on texture, taste, and overall, how would you rate it? Considering um, some trees grow these, mm -hmm. these things, and when, and when people want to pick them, and, and sometimes they're, um, get, they're, and then they're cut, mm -hmm. some in half, and then and put some a little bit of some chocolate in there. Mm -hmm. Here, start um, mixing. I feel like you're up, getting close open, to your to your open, number here. Um, some um, coconut in it and mm. mixed in with mm. some people make them. Alrighty. There's a lot of things you 
questions about it. And you're getting to a number that's between one and 10 for texture and? It comes from trees and plants too. We're gonna go ahead and say that is a, a eight then. I think that's what he was getting to. I, I'm not sure we'll have to count the words that he said. I think that's what he was speaking and it was actually code. And as far as taste, what would you go ahead and rate this? Chewy. <laughs> Chewy. That's a five liter word. And overall, how would you just throw a number between one and 10? Sixteen. To be honest, uh, Jacob was, I think, a little bit more generous than I am going to be. I gotta say, a two for texture. You know, overall, I would say like a four for taste. It's not like it's like unbearable, like where you're gonna like you know spit it out. Like, but for me, it's not something that I would prefer. It's like it's not something I'm gonna keep on coming back for. But if someone's like, hey, here you go, try this, I would say it's not too bad. So a four right there for overall. I feel like I should just add the two together and that would be six. However, I think for I'm overall five. like purchase as far as like maybe for your friend who likes coconut or chocolate, I guess it kind of depends. I'm five. He's five, just had his birthday on Thursday. For me, it would be a, I, I would have to say five. Like if they absolutely love coconut and coffee, like boom, here you go, you know what I mean? But if they don't, if they're just a chocolate guy and they don't like coconut and they definitely don't like coffee, like, I'm sorry, I would not recommend this as a gift, right? Uh. Is that a, like a good place to leave it? Jay, do you have any other final last words that you would like to say to the audience before we go ahead and wrap that food review right up? Um, is some, some mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. who um, 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 make chocolate hit, hit sometimes and, and make these, He's with the chocolate inside of them. Mm -hmm. I like to make the chocolate inside of there. Mm -hmm. Kind of mix it all together. Right. Um, even to put some, a little bit of these, you see these crumbs? Coconut. Those coconut crumbs. Mm. Mm -hmm. It seems like you're really into the coconut crumble. And a lot of it ingredient stuff. Okay, I, I don't know if you're going for the, you should change your number, dad, to a higher number, because that was a little bit too tough, or do you, are you going with the, I don't know, I'm just confused. High five, high five. <laughs> What's up? All right, give me some skin, give me some nuts, wink. Anyways, guys, that's been our food review of the Coffee Bean Snack Roo uh, Ow Cafe. Don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. And until next month, we'll see you later.